Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as usual, feel free to check out my personality story merch which is aiming at building a tribe here and also showcasing different personality traits and encouraging you to wear your personality with pride. And also um, check out my Patreon as well, all links down in the description box below. My latest piece on how do you improve the extroverted thinking function in detail step-by-step -step guide is also up on Patreon, so have a look at that if you're interested. And today, let's talk about my thoughts on ISFP personality. So, honestly, I have been going through hell like for the past few weeks. I know I don't try to show that on camera, but it has been very tough. And, you know, the whole like social media with like lockdown and all that, it's just been crazy. And I don't want to go too much into details about that. But today I'm going to be talking about something that is happy because ISFPs are among my favorite personality types. And they are also my favorite sensing type um, as a friend. Like in terms of friendship, I would say that ISFPs are definitely my favorite sensing personality type. And I will be giving you reasons why I appreciate them and also obviously like certain things that um, I may have a little bit more difficulty with but I think generally this is going to be a really positive video so we really do need more positivity I think um, in times like this. Okay, for starts, ISFPs are incredibly well dressed and I know this sounds like a stereotype but this is honestly true. For every single ISFP that I know, uh, most of them I would say are incredibly well dressed or at least like well dressed, you know, above average. And um, and this applies to like male, female, whatever you have, like all of them. It doesn't really matter if they are like, you know, for some other personality types maybe it's it differs from like gender to gender. So like typically the females are like more well dressed than the males. but for this personality, which may surprise a lot of other people, like ISFP guys are equally, if not even more well-dressed than a lot of like females that I know. So it doesn't matter like gay or straight or whatever, like they just well-dressed. And honestly, I feel that a lot of them dress better than me. Um, like no surprise there, they're just so good at like appearance um, related stuff. Like they know, um, where to get the products, they know where to get the makeup. I mean, not the guys, but I don't, I don't know. Sometimes when I look at ISFP guys, I'm like, are you wearing makeup? Because I don't really, can't really tell how come their skin is so flawless. Um, on TikTok, you, you can see a lot of ISFPs. I think they really are like having the time of their life there because they really know how to look good and they know how to like interact with the camera or something because they are introverts and it's like on lockdown, so they have a lot of time on their hands, you know, to do this kind of videos. And they're really chill about like the whole, you know, I, I just think that they are so chill, like they enjoy like looking good and there's no harm in that. And they also help me to learn a lot about how to look good and, you know, the products and, and also like the face masks and all that. And it's just incredibly like... Um, relaxing for me to be around them because I am able to tap into my SE which is you know in another video I have talked about this like uh, about INF uh, INFJ friendships with other types that with ISFPs INFJs are able to really bring out their extroverted sensing function because um, so in my opinion like with the leading dominant SE types, I can get kind of intimidated sometimes because, you know, we are kind of pretty different in terms of how we act in real life. And they have a lot of like energy and they have a lot of assertiveness and all that, right? But with ISFPs, I'm not really intimidated by them. So it's way easier for me to be befriend an ISFP. And also, it's way easier for me to meet them because with like dominant SE types, I don't really get to know them. Like, you know, they even on the dating apps, like 
I don't think they really use it for dating or uh, at least a lot of them don't and they don't really go for the activities that I tend to go for um, which is related to like cafe hopping and some kind of arts festivals but ISFP is like abound in like many areas that I go to so fashion events they are there like some some arts events they are there and it's so easy for me to meet ISFPs like I feel like I for some reason I'm just surrounded by ISFPs both male and female in terms of like friendships and it's really easy for me to get to know them because they just like I think they're pretty um easy to talk to even though they kind of look a lot more aloof than they actually are. I think this is like the same with all leading FI users. Typically FI users look kind of aloof because it's an introverted feeling function and if they lead with that then it's less likely for them to showcase emotion facially speaking and so they can look like kind of scary at first but it's really not. They're really not and I think especially because I'm an INFJ um, whom I see myself as pretty developed in the SE side so I'm also like more developed in the fashion side and that is an area where our interests really do align. And another thing that is interesting about ISFPs is that they can be really good at NI as well and this is not speaking for every single ISFP because I know some ISFPs who do not develop the NI maybe because of the social circle maybe they only hang out with sensors but for other ISFPs with developed NI they can go really far into NI like they are like I think one of the most um, developed NI type of sensors if that makes sense because they have NI in their tertiary function and so what had to happen is that later in life usually in their 20s they will start to develop their NI and they will start to balance the SE and NI part of their life. So SE um, types of ISFPs would be, you know, going to raves and parties, even though they are still introverts, but they still go for that. But once they tap into the NI side of themselves, they would start to balance it out. So they would not be always going for those events and they would also be valuing things like personal development, valuing things like, you know, reading um, and, and like, sometimes art if that's their thing not not every ISFP is um, like that but a lot of them also do so it really depends on the person but I realize that they tend to balance the SE and NI side pretty well for a sensor like a lot of other SP types it may take them a bit longer because maybe of their environment or because like NI is like something that they're not familiar with um, but with ISFPs I find that once they tap into NI they can actually get pretty good at it because ISFPs are also pretty individualistic and some of them are also kind of artistic and so I think that makes it easier for them to get into NI because it's like related to the overall what they value as a person and one famous ISFPs who I see as frequently mistyped as INFP is actually Johnny Depp. I believe he's ISFP because of the way he uses functions and also the way that he carries himself. He doesn't seem like an extroverted, like intuitive user at all. And um, I'm pretty sure that he's ISFP. And the reason why people mistype him is because he's so well developed in his other functions that he can appear to be and intuitive. And another famous example is Marilyn Monroe. I know a lot of people think that she's an extrovert because of the way she acts in movies, but if you listen to her interviews, she's a lot more private in person and she also has a lot of this like moody, this like very FI heavy moments. And as a person, she's a lot more introverted. And she also has a library and she, she values reading a lot and she has that SE and I balance like she can appreciate things that are more intellectual and you know more like on the NI side and she can also appreciate the fashion and all that jazz and you know all the very fun party stuff and looking good and all that so I really appreciate 
ISFPs who develop their NI. I know there are some ISFPs who do not value NI, but I personally gel well with those who value NI because then it feels more like we are on the same page on many things because I developed my SE and they also developed an NI, so it kind of meets in the middle. Um, one thing about ISFPs though, they can also have the problem of being self-centered and I know this may sound like a very negative term but I don't think that it is like necessarily negative per se because my understanding of being self-centered is like they literally see the world through FI so people who lead with FI are going to have a very like the world centers around my feelings vibe and this is true for like all dominant FI users or auxiliary FI users because that's how they operate like they sometimes or many times are not aware of how their actions can impact other people and I think I talked about it in many other videos as well and ISFPs are no different they do have that problem of sometimes not being able to understand the impact of their own words or actions on others um, and they also falsely perceive how other people are reacting to them because they tend to be very sensitive and they can see things that are not personal in a personal way and definitely this is something that ISFPs have to work on because many times in my friendship I have to kind of play the role of like the FE person where I have to like explain certain things or at least provide a different perspective for them to consider because if they only look at things through FI then it can be very hurtful to both themselves and the people involved I think because it's like there is this divide um, like no one is really understanding where the other person is coming from and it creates a lot of uh, misunderstandings in, in the feelings department um, like they are like mutually hurting each other yeah so I think that's really the FE perspective actually really helps FI because they have like the whole like tunnel vision problem um, while at the same time FE users also have the problem of not being um, true to their own feelings or not even knowing what they want sometimes and so I think that communication can actually help each other if you look at it that way in a in a constructive way another interesting thing about ISFPs is that I noticed that they come from all sides of the political spectrum so I'm not gonna talk about politics here but something interesting that I observe is that I know ISFPs sometimes personally sometimes not sometimes it can be like acquaintances but I know there are like apolitical ISFPs, there are like conservative ISFPs, there are libertarian ISFPs, there are like, I don't know, left uh, wing or liberal or moderate liberal or far liberal, whatever. Literally, they are like very diverse in the political spectrum. And it's very interesting because I always hear people say like, oh, NFPs are the most individualistic personalities and... Personally, I don't agree with that statement because I think that SFPs are actually the most individualistic um, personality because their interests are so wide. Like you can have one ISFP and she can be totally doing one thing and another ISFP that is very different interests. Like maybe one ISFP is doing performance arts and the other ISFP can be like totally not interested in that and like doing something else and ISFPs also can think very differently from each other they don't necessarily share the same opinions on all subjects whereas in my experience NFPs tend to be very um, similar in a lot of their views like world views like you know political opinions they, they tend to be pretty homogeneous in that so yes they do emphasize on maybe individuality in terms of like dressing them their own way or something but i think in reality i don't think nfps the way that they present themselves and the way they understand the world i don't think they are the most individualistic and this is just my, from my experience and isfps also have a very interesting sense of humor so isfps for a filler they can be very blunt 
because they use FI. So they can be very blunt and in a funny way though. Like they can be very random in their humor. Like sometimes it can be like related to just really random things and they can say things that are very, um, you know, SP humor. Uh, so like related to appearance, sexual humor. And I think ISFPs are among the funniest people I know. Like they're just so funny. Um, and especially the female ISFPs, I don't know why, but I just feel like our humor really click with each other and um, our lifestyle also really click with each other because we are introverts and we like, you know, fashion and arts and all that. Um, however, when it comes to dating though, I would say that um, INFJs and ISFPs, in my experience, I don't think that it works very well because... ISFP guys tend to be a lot more passive um, and INFJs really need someone who is very active. So if you don't know about INFJs, INFJs really need someone who is very direct and like pursuing them and, and you know that kind of like SE dominance or it doesn't even need to be SE dominant. It can be like any other personality as long as you have the direct like approach and really confident in approaching them and, and talking to them and like just not being passive aggressive or not being like letting them guess your intentions INFJs really need that because INFJs themselves I mean ourselves we don't really have that so when it comes to dating I find that ISFPs also require that and I don't have it you know what I mean and we both need someone who is more direct and someone who is like willing to pursue us or at least go like the full mile or I don't know like someone who is I guess different from us in terms of the passiveness and that is why I think when it comes to dating we're probably not that compatible I'm not saying that we cannot date but just in my experience um, it doesn't really work that well in that sphere but for friendships, it's amazing. So that is all on my thoughts on the ISFP personality. And as usual, feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.